My wife's family abandoned her after she gave birth. I'm in bed right now as my amazing wife is getting some much deserved rest, and our beautiful son is sleeping in the bassinet by the bed. If I was able, I would be getting some rest with them, but the events of the past few days are rerunning over and over again in my mind, filling my every waking thought when I'm not focused on our baby boy. My wife had a relatively stressful delivery. She had to be induced three weeks before her due date, and on extremely short notice, so we didn't have any time to plan ahead with work, cancel doctor's appointments, so forth. She was incredible during her labor and she was so strong, she's literally the most incredible human being, and at the end of it, we now have our first child. We decided not to tell our families when we went into labor and instead just tell them when the baby was born and when we were ready to have visitors at the hospital. My wife's mother and my wife's maternal grandmother do not get along at all, my MIL is narcissistic and has been diagnosed with BPD but does not take her medication, my wife and her do not get along well. We've had a number of issues with her already in the past, but in general, her family is extremely non-confrontational and unwilling to admit how dysfunctional their household is. My wife's grandmother, on the other hand, my MIL's mother, is the most amazing woman. In college, my wife moved out of her parents' house and in with her grandmother, and her grandmother treasures my wife so so dearly. Her grandmother and my parents get along well, but my parents and my wife's parents don't talk to each other much. So, on the delivery day, we tell everyone that the baby's here once we're ready to receive visitors, and my mother and my wife's grandmother travel to the hospital together to visit us. They end up getting there first and are visiting with us and our baby for about 15 minutes before we get the call that my MIL is there. My wife's grandmother and my mom decide to leave, as they don't want to cause us any stress by upsetting my MIL while she's visiting us. The nurses tell my MIL and the family with her that there's too many visitors, and they'll have to wait for just a minute while they clear out. After at most 15 minutes after they arrived at the hospital, we call them back to our room, and my MIL storms in and asks who was here before them. My wife, having just given birth and who was extremely exhausted, simply told the truth, that my mother and her grandmother were there before us. My MIL bursts into tears, saying how upset she was that they didn't get to be the first ones to see the baby. My wife's other, paternal, grandmother also came with my MIL, and she walked straight into the room and told my wife that her father wasn't coming to the hospital because he was hurt and upset with us for waiting until after labor was over to tell them. She claimed he was upset because he was worried about his daughter and needed to be able to be there if something happened to her, though I kind of think this is BS because if his priority was caring about his daughter, he would have come to the hospital to check on her, no matter how angry he was. Sorry about the interruption to the story for my side commentary. Anyway, the two of them don't end up staying long, and we don't hear from my FIL. My MIL decides not to show up to the hospital the next day, despite saying that she would, but texts my wife urging her to call her father. Her paternal grandmother comes to the hospital again and tells her the same thing, to call her father. She does, and he doesn't answer. We leave a voicemail, and he never responds. We send a text asking him to come visit, and no response. Pretty soon after that, my SIL texts my wife reprimanding her for being fake toward her family and tells us that if we don't want her to be a part of our child's life, then so be it. My SIL never came to the hospital, and we haven't seen her since. While things have been rocky in the past, they've by no means been this bad. In the span of just several hours, most of my wife's immediate family abandoned her on the most painful and traumatic day of her life. And, even if we do end up one day reconciling with them, this is always going to be a part of our poor son's birth story. Even after all of this and how they all treated her, my wife cried in her hospital bed because all she wanted was to see her family. Anyway, I should probably try to get some sleep. Hopefully typing some of this out will help clear my mind and rest. I wish all you all the greatest blessings. Edit, thank you all so much for all the kind words. I'll do my best to reply to everyone but my priority right now is taking care of my wife and my baby, and then getting rest for myself when I have the chance. You all are amazing.